All right, now the first important tip is enabling the QWERTY keyboard on the watch. Now by default, whenever you are trying to type something on the text box or anywhere, you will get this a three by four keyboard, uh, but this is not very convenient to type. So what you can do is you can just swipe up from the bottom. You will see these options here. Just tap on settings. Now here in the settings, you will see input languages. I tap on this. Now here you can see English US three by four keyboard is selected by default. Just tap on this. This is where we get to select QWERTY keyboard. We've got a couple of more options as well. Now I will select QWERTY. Let's go back. Now when I tap on the text box, you can see we've got the QWERTY keyboard here. This is just perfect. This is how you enable QWERTY keyboard on the watch. Now let's model the second one. Uh, this is enabling the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch and setting it up for the side key. Now by default, when you press and hold on the side key, the Bixby gets activated. Now the Google Assistant is not available by default here. Uh, we have to enable Google Assistant and then set it up for the side key. Let's go ahead and see how to do this. Let's go to the app tray and I will tap or I'll open the Play Store. Now let's scroll all the way down here. Here you can see an option Manage Applications. I'll tap on this. Now you see here we get to see Google Assistant installed. Uh, usually you will get an update here. I have already updated the application. Uh, when you're using the watch for the first time, uh, when you come to this area, you will see an update for the assistant. Just tap on that and update the assistant. Now, since I have already updated it, this is enabled. I'll tap on get started. It says continue on the phone. Here we will have to set up the Google Assistant on the phone. I'll tap on agree, agree, next, okay. Now you can see the Google Assistant is ready here. Let's ask a couple of questions. How is the weather? Right now in Bengaluru, it's 24 degrees and mostly sunny. That's perfect. You can also say, hey Google, hey Google, there it is. It is getting activated when you say, hey, Google. Now let's see how to assign the Google Assistant on the side key. Let's go to settings. I'll tap on advanced features. Here we have got an option, customize buttons. I'll tap on this. We have got a home button, double press and press and hold and back button for short press. So you can use any of these buttons. I will use a press and hold for this particular button here. By default, it's selected as Bixby. I'll tap on this. You see we have got assistant option as well and we get power off menu as well for this uh, button. Now I'll select assistant here. Now let's go home. Now whenever I press and hold on this key, the Google Assistant gets activated. That is just perfect, right? Now let's move to the next one. The next one is enabling developer mode. Now this is a hidden feature like we have got developer mode on the phone. We can also enable developer mode on this watch since this is running on Wear OS, which is of course the Android. Uh, we will be able to enable the developer options here. Now let's go to settings. I scroll all the way down here. I have already enabled developer options, but I'm gonna show you how you can do that. I'll tap on about watch. Now here we have got software information. I'll tap on this. Here we've got the software version. Just keep tapping on this. It says developer mode turned on. If you wanna turn it off, you can just keep tapping on this again. Uh, it gets disabled. And when you keep tapping on it again for about five, six times, the developer mode gets enabled. Now, once you enable the developer mode, you can just go back. You can see at the bottom here, developer options. I'll tap on this. Now the developer options here may not be important for everyone. Uh, there are some options which you can use. For example, if you want to change the animation scale or uh, the transition scale, you can do that. As you can see here, uh, we've got transition animation scale, windows animation scale, as well as animated duration scale. These can be changed by default. It is selected as one X. If you don't want the animations at all, you can just knock them off. You can just select animations off, or you can have other options like 0.5 X, 1.5 X, depending on your requirement. This is something which you can explore on the developer options. A couple of more options can be enabled such as uh, the mock location, etc. This is what we can do on the developer options. Now the next tip or trick is very interesting. This is called universal gestures. I'm not talking about the regular gestures we have got on the watch. I'm talking about universal gestures. I'm going to show you how uh, interesting that is. Now by default, we have got some gestures to take the calls or disconnect the calls, etc. First, let's go ahead and take a look at that. And after that, I'm going to show you universal gestures. Now let me go to settings. I'll tap on advanced features. Now here under advanced features, we have got gesture option. Now to answer the calls, you can just shake your arm twice bending at the elbow. 
Now you can see the animation here. This is how we are supposed to shake to answer the calls. Now to dismiss alerts and calls, you can twist or rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls or dismiss alerts such as alarms, timers and reminders. So we can just rotate your wrist twice to decline incoming calls. This is the second gesture and then we have got quick launch. Uh, this is how you quick launch it to quick launch within the first five seconds after the screen turns on make a fist and bend your wrist down and then up again twice like your fist is nodding now this is for a quick launch you can enable all these gestures now what's more interesting is the universal gestures to enable this we have to go to the variable app on the phone as you can see i will tap on what settings here now here under accessibility we have got a few options as you can see we have got interaction and dexterity here i will just tap on interaction and dexterity now here on the top you can see we have got universal gestures i have turned this on already it says use gestures to control your watch now let's see how to use universal gestures now you can see here under universal gestures uh, first thing you need to select is how to activate the gesture as you can see i'll tap on this it says choose how to activate universal gesture auto activate when screen is on shake gesture not gesture knock knock gesture so i have selected shake gesture now i'll activate the gesture When I just pinch, it will go to the next item. As you can see, I'm just pinching my fingers here. It is going to the next item. I'll just pinch once to go to the next item. Double pinch to go to the previous item. Now, let's say if I have to select something, I can just make a fist to tap on a particular item. I will just uh, open the messages. You see, the message application just got opened. Now, let me enable the action menu here. You see we have got various options here, app, scroll down, scroll up and a few more. Now let me just select scroll down. Now I'll scroll down the screen. As you can see, I can scroll up as well by selecting the scroll up option. I just have to uh, make a fist to go up or down and I can go to the previous option by double pinching my finger. This is just fantastic. This is for people with disabilities can use this particular feature uh, without using the right hand or without using the second hand. You can easily navigate through the watch using these uh, options, uh, these universal gestures, but this is something which you have to really get used to uh, to easily use these functions. This is an amazing feature we have got. Now moving on to the next one, this is about measuring the ambient temperature. Now Samsung recently announced that it is releasing the ThermoCheck application on the Galaxy Watch 6 series and it's already available on the Play Store for the Galaxy Watches. So by default, it is not available on the watch, so you'll have to download it. All you need to do is just go to the Play Store and search for ThermoCheck. You will be able to get this application. You see, I have already installed this application now let me just open it. There are two options here. One is to check the temperature of living area and the water temperature. Now let me tap on living. Now it says non-contact measurement, real-time observation. One time, multi-time, I'll just tap on one time. We've got basic metal, plastic, wood, water surface. So you can just place the watch on a particular surface to measure the temperature. Now let me go with basic. It says take off your watch. I've already taken it off. Let's go next. Put your watch on near the subject. Now let me just measure this particular box here. It's showing 29 degrees Celsius. This is how we can measure the surface temperature using the watch. And if you want to measure the water temperature, you can select the water option and get into the water to measure the water temperature. This is a cool feature we have got with Galaxy Watch 6 series. And this is expected to land on the Watch 5 series as well as those watches also have temperature sensor built into the watch. Now the next tip is creating folders on the app tray. Now you can see we have got this application list here. If you want to create a folder, all you need to do is press and hold on an application. Just drag it on another application to create a folder. As you can see, we have created a folder here. You can change the folder name and you can also change the folder color here. As you can see, we can select any background color for these, uh, these folders. This is just fantastic. This is another tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, the next tip is about controlling your phone's camera through the watch. We will be able to take the pictures as well as videos by using the application on the watch itself. Uh, by default, this app is available. As you can see, this is the camera controller app we have. I'll just tap on this. Even if the phone is locked, the camera will be opened when you tap on this application on the watch. Now we will get a preview of uh, the uh, this particular screen on the watch itself. As you can see, I can take photos here.
here and we also have an option to take videos from the watch itself you can see we have got this video icon here i'll tap on this now the video button is here we have an option to pause or stop the videos here this is how we can control the phone's camera using the galaxy watch now another brilliant feature now we have got on the galaxy watches is the ability to transfer the watch to a new phone without having to restart or reset the phone let's say you want to connect the same phone to another phone that you have you can easily do that now on one ui 5.0 let me show you how you can do that now on the phone let's open variable application i'll tap on watch settings now here let's go to general you can see we have an option called transfer watch to a new phone i'll just tap on this here you can just tap on transfer watch to a new phone uh, I can just tap on this. Now it says ready to transfer. If you see your watch on uh, the new phone, tap connect. Now let me just take another phone here. I've got the S22 Ultra here. I'll just open this. As you can see, I have got a notification here. I have got a pop-up here, Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. I can just tap on connect to connect this watch directly with this phone without having to restart the watch or reset the watch. That is very, very convenient. Now the next step is measuring temperature during sleep. Now if you're measuring your sleep, you can also record the temperature while sleeping. Uh, to do this, you can go to the health application. Here, scroll all the way down, tap on settings. Now here, we have got an option, skin temperature during sleep. Just enable this so that you measure your temperature during sleep for better sleep recording accuracy. The next tip is regarding the watch face. The watch face you're seeing right here is quite customizable and we'll be able to change the layouts and we can add images for this particular uh, watch face. Just press and hold on this and uh, tap on customize. As you can see, we can change the layout for this particular new watch face we have got on the Galaxy Watch now. Uh, we can also add photos. Now to add photos, you can just tap on this icon here. Whichever images are available in the watches gallery will show up here. And if you want to add more photos onto the gallery, all you can do is just go to the variable application. And here we have got an option called manage content. I'll just tap on this. Now here we have got under gallery add images. I can just tap on this and I can start selecting the images that I want and I can just tap on done. Now the images are getting transferred here. You can see all these images will get added to the gallery. Now from here, you can add these images on that particular watch face. That is brilliant. And apart from that, we can also change the colors for this watch face. Likewise, we can customize many other watch faces on the watch. Now these are some of the tips and tricks which I wanted to show you guys. Uh, now there are many more to come. I will post another video, probably the part two of this video. Uh, where I will showcase some more tips and tricks. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, and if you want to know more about your Galaxy Watch and Galaxy phones, uh, do subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. And if you like this video and if you find this informational, go ahead, hit that like button. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.